Hey, what's going on out there? I would like to welcome every single one of you to Water Your Soil. So before I get into this video, I would like to say, if you're new around here, I have two rules over at this channel. The first rule is for you to always use your own discretion when it comes to credit cards and credit scores. The second rule, that's for you to verify everything that you learn, whether it's on this channel, another channel, or anywhere. That should be a rule of life. This is a video that I really didn't want to do. And the fact that I have to do this video so late in the game is a problem. So getting into the video, this video is going to be about a problem that I've been noticing over time. And it's an issue regarding FICO credit scores. And it's regarding a lie, a horrible lie in relation to FICO credit scores. So I remember years ago, I was helping someone with understanding credit scores and credit reports and how credit scoring works. And she asked me to look over her credit report and I decided to look over her credit report. And she mentioned something to me that raised the alarm. She asked me if I had dispute letters. And in return, I asked her, I said, why do you need a dispute letter? And she said she was told that if she dispute items, uh, her credit report, her score will end up in a good credit range. Now, mind you, at that time, her score was in the lower 600s, but she says someone told her if she disputes her credit report that her score would end up in the 700s or the 800s. And I was like, OK, cool. I'll look over your credit report and we'll talk about it. So I ended up looking over her credit report with her. And what I noticed was most of her accounts that she had were newer accounts, but I didn't see anything in collections. And I did notice her hard inquiries that she had, they were at least a year and a half old. So I noticed those two things. She didn't have anything in collections and she did have some hard inquiries, but they were like a year and a half old. So I asked her, I said, hey, who told you that if you send out a dispute letter, it will increase your credit score? And then she told me who told her. But then I went on to tell her like, hey, you don't need to send a dispute letter. You have all active accounts on your credit report. And if you do decide to send a dispute letter on your active accounts, that could lead to some trouble. You don't have anything in collections. According to her, all of the information on her credit report was correct. So I really couldn't figure out why that person told her to send out a dispute letter. But that's what I'm here to talk about. And it's something that's been going around for years and it's something I've been noticing for years. I mentioned it a little bit previously on this channel, but honestly, this is something that needs to be talked about because it's something that's constantly mentioned and it's getting a lot of people in trouble. One of the things when I'm on social media, I always see these credit repair people. I have nothing against them. Your hustle is your hustle. But I always see these credit repair people. And one of the things that they talk about is dispute letters. In fact, I rarely see them talk about anything else besides removing items off of your credit report. And there is so much more to a FICO credit score than getting items removed. As I stated before on this channel, everyone doesn't have a credit report where they need items removed. So if you're talking to someone who's just now establishing credit and building up their credit score, it's going to be a high possibility they may not have items that need to be removed. And we have basically made this whole credit score thing into a mockery. In the past, when I talked about it on this channel, people would come by here and they'll say, hey, so are you saying that People can't send out dispute letters because dispute letters aren't part of credit scores. Listen, I've sent out dispute letters before. I've mentioned this on this channel. However, there is more to increasing your credit score than sending out a dispute letter. A lot of you, you only want to send out a dispute letter because that's the only thing you know. You don't know about the five categories that go into making a FICO credit score. You don't really know about the concept of credit scoring and how credit scoring works. So at the end of the day, you want to take the easiest route. And for a lot of you, the easiest route is, hey, I'm just going to dispute everything on my credit report. I'm going to dispute everything in collections. I'm going to dispute my hired inquiries. I'm just going to dispute and dispute dispute and dispute and you go and you look for videos and information on how to send dispute letters and how to acquire a dispute letter and then some of you you go and you dispute stuff and then you get upset because your score doesn't really increase that much and then you wonder why your score hasn't increased and the reason is because there is more that goes into credit scores than dispute letters between the whole thing where oh all you need is a dispute letter 
And the fact that people tell people their score can increase by a certain amount in a certain amount of days, those two things bothered me. And honestly, like I stated earlier, people are making a mockery of this credit scoring thing. And a lot of people are honestly being lazy with it. And some people may not want to hear that, but that's what it is. You don't want to take out the time to learn how credit scoring works. So you want the easiest way out. You figure, hey, let me learn the easiest way so I could be qualified for this home loan or I could qualify for this auto loan or I could qualify for this personal loan. But you have to get out of that mindset because that mindset is getting a lot of people in trouble. And when I see all these credit repair companies pop up of people who probably don't even have a good or excellent credit score themselves, but here they are spreading information mainly about getting items removed. And that's what it has become about. It has become strictly, hey, you need to remove these items and remove these accounts. And this will increase your credit score this amount. And that's not how it works. And we wonder why so many people aren't seeing improvement when it comes to their FICO credit score. We wonder why people could get credit repair services and still years later, year after year, still not know how credit scoring work and still not have a good or excellent credit score. That's sad. People have spent thousands of dollars over the year, thousand after thousand after thousand, paying credit repair people to clear up certain things, and they still don't know how credit scoring works. They still don't even know what credit card utilization is or how it works, and that's sad. You literally spend thousands of dollars and don't even know what credit card utilization is and how it works, and we got to do better. I know a lot of people, they just use it as an opportunity for a hustle, so they're like, hey, I'm going to just roll with this teaching people about getting items removed thing and just pass them a letter and then I'm going to call myself a credit repair expert. But we got to do better than that. If you're a credit repair expert and you don't have at least an excellent credit score, you're not doing it right. Because how are you going to teach people to achieve an excellent credit score and you don't have one yourself? All you do is send out dispute letters and teach them how to get items removed. We got a problem going on and I know some of you are going to be upset and you're not going to agree with that, but that's what it is. Somebody has to say something because people are literally out here wanting to increase their credit score, but they're being misled. But it's important that people who do go about it the right way start to talk about it because people are noticing it. You have people that are suing these credit repair people. You have people who are out of thousands of dollars because their score hasn't still increased. Like I stated earlier, we got to do better. And to those of you who do need help with your credit score, you need to learn the concept of credit and how credit scoring works. Learn how credit scoring works. Learn the five categories. You don't even have to just learn it on this channel. You can learn it anywhere. As long as the information that you're learning is verifiable and is legit, learn it. That's why I tell people at the beginning of these videos to verify what they learn and use their own discretion. It doesn't have to be information that you get from me. I don't care where you get the information from. As long as the information is legit and it's going to help you learn how credit scoring work and help you increase your credit score because this is getting ridiculous. But I just wanted to talk about it. This is Water Your Soil. If you're new around here and you're feeling the vibe, be sure to hit the subscribe button, turn on all notifications. That way you don't miss a future video because I post often. And also this goes to every single one of you, my subscribers included. Be sure to hit the like button. That's the simplest way to let the algorithm know you support this video as well as support this channel. I really appreciate every single one of you for stopping by, showing love, watching my videos, hitting the share button, leaving a comment. I also appreciate every single one of you for taking the polls that are in my post section. But we got to do better. This is Water Your Soil, and I'm out. Hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Before you leave, be sure to check out the description box below. That way you can have all the credit resources from Water Your Soil. Also, be sure to hit the subscribe button, the like button as well, all right? In the description box below, I always tell people, check out the description box below for extra resources from Water Your Soil. Part of the description box also showcases my book that I have. I have a book, it's been out for a while now, it's been out for years, it's titled, Strategies to Master Credit. 
The book is available. It's on Amazon. It's on Barnes and Noble. Most online bookstores have the book. And the book is basically about how FICO credit scoring works. Once you understand how FICO credit scoring works, you're pretty much on your way to helping yourself build, develop, and maintain a good credit score. So check the book out whenever you get a chance.